Now tell me, who are you? Hey everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review Hercules! Hercules stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson. This film is the story of Hercules. He is the demigod, he is the son of Zeus, he's done his 12 labors, and he has a group of mercenaries. The King of Thrace hires him and a group of these mercenaries to train the army to get into battle. So honestly, I was pretty pumped to see Hercules because one thing's for sure I am a huge fan of The Rock not just as one of my favorite action stars but as one of my favorite actors in general he just seems like a down-to-earth guy even on his Instagram he posted a picture of him playing patty cake with a three-year-old girl I mean come on guys if that's not badass then what is you could tell he's always so committed to his work, which is what I truly respect about the dude. This film is directed by Brett Radner, who I honestly don't hate. He's, how you say, at least a decent director. How does Hercules go? It is definitely better than The Legend of Hercules that came out earlier in January of this year. Or as I like to call that piece of shit, The Legend of Crapules. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is awesome as Hercules. He definitely has the physical body to play Hercules. He was a very great casting choice to do Hercules. Brett Ratner does a really good job of directing this film. Hercules does look really good. The whole scale of it, the locations, when the battle action sequences are going on, it looks really good and it's actually quite violent. They're epic, they're badass, they're over the top. It really is absurd, but in that really epic way. Also, surprisingly, this film actually did have some humor. Some of the humor actually did make me laugh in this movie. So it was a nice touch to give some lightheartedness to the film. And Hercules' backstory was actually quite surprising because, yes, this film has the dumb fun material. It also could be actually quite dark, surprisingly, and I did not expect this film to be sometimes dark. Hercules' band of mercenaries were really good. I really enjoy the fact that they're not standing there like idiots, that they all actually have something to do and that we actually got to get some kind of backstory to know them enough and I guess you could say care about them enough. So it was really nice and you could tell that they really were like family because they even said themselves that they don't love Hercules because he's a demigod. Hercules' mercenaries would have still loved him even if he wasn't a demigod. I just really enjoy the chemistry with Hercules and his mercenaries and how much they care about each other. So that's something I definitely, truly appreciated about this film. My flaws with Hercules though is that the visuals on the mystical creatures, which by the way, you don't get that much of the mystical creatures, which will disappoint some people. But when the mystical creatures do show up in the film, they do look good. The visuals on them look nice. I just thought they could have done a little bit more work with the visuals on the creatures because it is a little bit noticeable with the CGI on them. Like when you look at them, you're all like, okay, it looks really good. But you can notice like the CGI part of it. The film does get predictable. Well, that's expected actually. But yeah, it's predictable and I do feel like it's a bit too standard and it's storytelling like it literally is just a little too straightforward in my opinion the epic soundtracks they would play throughout this film they were very generic like they're the same usual epic soundtracks that you would hear in other epic films you know so it's all like the soundtracks aren't anything too special and I was quite disappointed with that because I did want to hear an epic, amazing, mind-blowing soundtrack for a film like Hercules. And the ending, while it was very satisfying, it does wrap up pretty well, it does feel a little bit rushed. Overall, Hercules is a lot of fun. It's absurdly fun. 
It has good performances. The action battle sequences are very fun to watch. It actually has a good storyline. I'm going to give Hercules 3 out of 4 stars. I like this film. It definitely knew what it wanted to be. And it is a hell of a whole lot better than The Legend of Hercules. Thank you, Brett Ratner, for making a solid film to help me forget about that. Whew, yeah, such a very bad film to ever come in cinema. I am 22 Tiger Dude! Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!